you have if then else end if okay this is a kind of loop uh, then you have if then elif whatever be it it will end with end if you have case when then you have loop okay we'll see them one by one we'll first see the very basic loop if then else loop so have a question directly check whether check whether a given number is less than 20 check whether a given number is less than 20 which means you know i should have a number so i write i integer is equal to let's say i have a number called 34 so what is the question you have to check whether the given number is less than 20 or not very simple i write if a is less than or equal to 20 then print something else print something else and then end my if family okay this is my basic structure if the condition then print else also print do not forget the end of statement if you start an if statement you should have an end of statement so i'll print something i'll print something i'll write dbms the thing which i told you to learn dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i'll write uh, number less than 20 number less than 20 i finish off my code with a semicolon else what do i print else i'll print the number is greater than 20 else i'll print the number is greater than 20 i'll save it as a new program file save as not hello one number number not text document plsql document okay i've saved it i'll come here it is not hello one it is number okay if a, a less than okay okay i'll explain once again i have a number called i i start off my code begin end if i less than or equal to 20 then i print number less than 20 else i print number greater than 20 i finish off my statement with an end if that's it i save my program i run my program yeah and they're telling me number is less than 20. we'll go for the next looping statement case when case when it will finish off with an end case when you're finding out the different cases okay so have a question demonstrate the usage of case when by printing a fruit name based upon the alphabet by printing a fruit name based upon the alphabet okay so i'll just have an alphabet called let's say a uh, i can have a does varkar let's see for the time being i give it as a so i write case a based upon the alphabet a you know i'll just give x over here because you know i'll already have an a okay case x when okay if you are entering a then dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i'll print let's say apple 
okay when b when b uh, a fruit with b okay i'll say blueberry c i don't get a fruit quickly i'll write a vegetable carrot and so on okay end case you can even have a, a finishing of condition else you know if it does nothing of these else you say nothing i'll save my program save as not number i'll write case demo all files save i'll run my program okay is equal to i always go wrong over here is equal to okay so if it is a i get an apple if i type b i get blueberry and let's say i give z no only i've written code for a b c so z is something else okay i get nothing so this is the default case this is how you work with case when end case in pl sql now since you have already got the structure of pl sql and how to execute a pl sql now let us go into the actual stuff how to work with tables in pl sql so I have a very simple question I have done a question write a pl sql block write a pl sql block to display the details of the details of fid equal to r100 okay look here i do have fid is equal to r100 okay so i just need this particular row to be displayed so i need rahul's details to be displayed so that is my question okay display the details of fid equal to r100 so let's see how to write the code for that i'll just delete off all these i just have the basic structure i'll go very simple i'll just write sid and s name later when you write it you can have all the other fields as of now i will be displaying only the sid and s name now in pl sql when you are working with a table declarations are very very easy now whichever detail you want to be displayed or you want to get the value you should have it in variable names now when this pl sql block is executed i will want r100 rahul this is what i want to be displayed so very simple r100 it should be stored into a variable name rahul it should be stored into another variable name rahul's age called 22 should be stored in another variable name and so on fid and s name you will not be able to fetch it directly you will be able to fetch it only through intermediary variables okay so i'll just have a small variable called id and another variable called name because i told you i am now planning to display only the fid and s name which means you know in my code i will be declaring id and name now look here very carefully id is actually 
एस आई डी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट डिटेल्स सो दिस इज हाउ आई डिक्लेयर यू नो यूशली यू कैन डिक्लेयर इट एज इन टीजर और यू कैन डिस्प्ले डिक्लेयर इट एज डेट और यू कैन डिस्प्ले इट एज नंबर और यू कैन डिक्लेयर इट एज इन टीजर एंड सो ऑन बट हियर यू आर डिक्लेयरिंग इट exactly as the type of sid this id should be the same type whatever is sid what is sid i don't i don't remember i do not remember the type of sid because you know during my table creation i made the type now i don't remember what it is similarly name i exactly don't remember how much space and all that i gave okay so to take care of that PLSQL has an option like this. You simply write the table name. So, what is my table name? STU underscore details. Okay, my table name is okay. What is my table name? My table name is STU underscore details. So, I write over here. stu underscore details dot. What is my field name? S underscore id. The type. I'm not very sure of the type, so I simply write percentage type. Now, this percentage type means whatever is the type of SID in the student details. Simply take it. whatever is the type match that type with id same way i even have name so i write student details dot why do i have student details because it is from the student details table dot s underscore name percentage type because you know i'm not very sure about the type now imagine you had age uh i'll write age Okay, I'll write S T U underscore details dot age percentage type. Okay, so this is how you declare variables for getting details from your tables. Now, all what I've done till now is I've declared the variables. Now, what is the question? Um, display the details. So to display, very simple. You will write the select query. Select s underscore id, comma s underscore name from stu underscore details. I'll just put an enter over here so that you can see it. Good. S underscore id, comma s underscore name from student details. This is your normal query. okay this is your normal query now this normal query will not work in plsql you will not be able to directly get these details instead this sid you will have to put it into id this s name you will have to put it into name so you write over here select s underscore id S underscore name into it is a keyword into what ID comma name okay I'll even have age over here because anyway I've made a variable for age into ID name comma age okay so now what have I done I've taken the S ID I've taken the name I've taken the age and I've put it into three variables called id okay ag just ag now you have taken it now you need to display it how do you display it dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then you write uh uh id okay so i'll write uh id name 
age. Okay, you can have formattings. Formattings will do it later. You can give spacing and all that. I'll just save my code. File, save as table demo. All files. Okay. I'll run my code. Okay, now look here. This is where you need to give attention to. Now, normally when you give select star, seven rows are selected. Seven rows are selected. But look here, in your code, you have not given any loop. Because you know we have not learned loop. We haven't given loops. We will learn that later. As of now, you have selected only, let's say, one row. And the error which has come up is, you know, there are more rows. So which means you know, they're not able to take a particular row. So what you can do is, uh, as we had in the question earlier, the ID, uh, let's say we initialize it as, is equal to R100, which means, you know, you'll take only one row. So select ID age into from student details where S underscore ID is equal to, or we can give it directly over here so that you need not be confused. S underscore ID is equal to, mm, what is it? R100. I'll save my query. So I get the answer. R100 Rahul 22. 100 Rahul 22. Okay. I'm just selecting a single row. We will learn later how to have lots of rows. As of now, we'll work with a single row. You can either give where SID is equal to R100 over here. Or what you can do is you can give R100 over here equal to the, at your initialization itself equal to R100. And instead of giving R100 over here, you give ID over here. Everything is one and the same. Only thing is one you're, one, one you're giving values during the declaration itself. The other you're giving it in the query itself. So have the next question. You can work on all your... Uh, all say, uh, kind of queries. So I have the next question. Um, okay. So you look here. You have a subject called always over here. No? Let's change the name. Okay. So I have the question. Change the subject name from OS to DS. Very simple. Change that O into a D. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, the name. Uh, previous question. Change OS to DS. Now, so that was a perfect answer from Nickel. Update course set C name is equal to DS, where C name is equal to OS. Uh, you're not working on any variables. So very simple. I didn't have any variables. I just have this much of a query. Update course set C name is equal to DS, where C name is equal to OS. I'll save my query. Update demo. I'll run my update demo. Yeah, they're telling it ran successfully, but you know, let's see. Yeah, it's DS. Nikhil, it's worked perfectly. This is how you update a query in PLSQL. Delete the record of DCN. Delete the record of DCN. Just a minute, let me check whether DCN has something. DCN has some student assigned. 57. Okay, 57, I don't have anybody, okay. So the question, sell, uh, delete DCN.
dcn has gone away i get delete from course where c name equal to dcn similarly you can even insert insert into course values you given the values and you run it the dcn details will be inserted using plsql into a new table which has two fields i and j into a new table which has two fields i and j enter values for i ranging from 1 to 10 okay so this is what i want i'll have a table i'll have a table i'll have an i value i'll have a j value i will have 1 2 3 etc up till 10 so even have the remaining of the question uh, j is equal to i into 10 so this will be i into 5 okay so this will be 5 this will be 10 this will be 15 and so on so that's the question so i've created a table called class with two values i and j okay i have two things i have an i and i have a j i have an i and i even have a j okay so uh, i can either get, i i very well know it is a number so i give a number or you can do the uh, class dot i percentage type anything will work okay because i exactly know it is a number because i just created the table i write number the other way will also be fine Okay, so I do have two i and j. Now I've got to create a value called one, and then even create a value called five, and then I need to insert it into my tables. As you very well know, the very simple method which we can use for these kind of repetitive values are you can use a for loop. So we'll learn how to do a for loop. for i because you know we can keep the counter as i i in 1 up till 10 so you have two dots 1 up till 10 this is how you write in c you write it for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus things are very easy over here you need not have all those statements you simply give for i in One dot dot ten, and then you start your loop. For is a keyword, in is a keyword. These are also constructs. Loop is also a keyword. You write all your statements inside your loop, and then you end your loop with a statement called end loop. Just mm -hmm. like we have end if, we even have end loop. so for each i i need to calculate a j what is j j is equal to i into 5 uh, let me even display that dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i'll display the output i'll write let's say i is Hmm? Pipe, I. Ma'am, are we creating a table or are we creating? Hmm? Uh, I. Ma'am, J is equal to I into five, right? J is equal to I into five. Yeah. J is equal to I into five. I is I, and then e I'll even have J is J is J. Okay, I'll not insert it into a table right away. I'll save it. File save as for demo. Save. I'll just check my code. Declare i and j begin loop. 
end loop. Okay. I'll come back here for demo. So I'm getting the output one, five, two, fives are 10, three fives are 15, four fives are 20 and so on. But you know, I've not inserted it into my class table. I just wanted to check whether uh, this code works perfectly. Yeah, the code works perfectly. So I can continue with my table creation. Sorry, table insertion. So now my code works perfectly. Now very simple. I've got to insert it into my table. Insert into what is my table name class. Insert into class values. What are my values? Very simple. I insert i comma j. I'll save my code. I'll run it. Okay. Let's see my table now. Okay. Things have now entered into my table. Now after that, imagine I want to give 34 up till 56. Okay. File. Save. I just run my code again. Precision too large. Okay, so I'll just give this four because you know you'll go for three digit number, four digit numbers, and all that. I just gave a very small uh, size earlier, no? That is why. So I'll come back, I'll execute my code. Okay, still I'm having a problem. Okay. Just go for smaller numbers. Okay, yeah, I'll select star. Look okay. here, it's been appended into the table. The second set came second. This is how you can even insert things into tables.